what's going on everybody thank you for tuning in to the x button gaming channel uh so today something i want to talk about has to go hand in hand with the most recent episode of the podcast that i did with my friend tyler and that's where we uh we talked about trophy hunting um so obviously trophies and achievements are something that is far from a necessity in a game but for a lot of us it's a fun addition uh, i know Sometimes it can be a bit of a heated topic. Not everybody is as into trophies as others. Some people hate the ding. They find it to be distracting and that it takes out of the, it takes them away from the experience. Um, but then others of us, it adds to the experience. You know, once you finish a game, it can make you want to go back through it and play it again and unlock more trophies. Um, but yeah, we talk about that quite a bit in this last episode of the podcast. So if you haven't listened to it, um, check it out. It's here on YouTube, um, Spotify, Google. Um, I guess it's YouTube music now, um, Apple music, wherever you listen. But what I wanted to talk today was a little bit specifically about trophies and the fact that some games, as time is going on, are uh, having trophies that are becoming inaccessible. It's been pretty common for a long time that some of the, the games you see that in the most are sports games, uh, maybe some of the other yearly released games like Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed. I don't have specific examples there because those aren't the, I don't really play any of those series, but um, it is something that's been an issue with those for a long time. And usually the reason being is that there is a plethora of online trophies. And then, you know, time goes on, eventually the game is less popular, and the new one comes out, and everybody moves forward to that, especially with sports games. And then nobody plays the old game, so they don't want to keep paying for servers, so they shut them down. And with that, ends the ability to get certain trophies um, or achievements. Um, but specifically on PlayStation, that's kind of what I'm talking about today, is the trophy system. Um, so you stop the ability to get all the trophies, which then in turn makes you lose the ability to get the Platinum Trophy. Which... For a trophy hunter is kind of the 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 cream of the crop. You you want to get all the trophies to get that platinum to to pop at the end. Um, so I want to talk about just a few different instances because we're in, right now we're in the PS5 era and we're pretty deep, four years into the PS5. Uh, so trophies originally, obviously achievements came first on the Xbox, and then within a couple years of the PS3 coming out, they added the trophy system. Um, so trophies have now been around during the PS3 life cycle, and they had them on the Vita and the PS4, and obviously now on the PS5. But some of those older consoles, like the PS3 and the Vita, are losing support. Um, you know, it feels like every day more games are taken offline. Um, you know, eventually the stores are going to shut down. And one thing that I started thinking about, and I am not an expert on this, um, but I heard it another YouTuber, I do not remember where I heard this, but I remember them talking about that at some point, the servers are going to probably shut off completely for the PS3 and the Vita, and eventually the PS4. But I feel like we're a ways away from that, um, just like they did for the Wii U. You know, now we can't you can't access anything but the, I think you're already downloaded software. Um, but anyway, so that just kind of raised in my head the the fear of obviously we plenty of games lose multiplayer support and then lose the trophies for that and you can no longer get the platinums but if the servers ever get completely shut down we may i don't sony may figure out a fix for this but when that happens we may lose the ability to upload trophy data um from the old ps3 and vita games which kind of has me wanting to go through some of the games i've wanted to platinum um and never did or you know some games i got close to um you know some games i just never played uh, I wanted to talk about a few of those and some of the examples of games that are no longer supported um, trophy-wise are, well, you can't get the Platinum anymore. So a few examples of that. We're going to start with just a, the, an early example. Uh, that's a couple of games like Untold Legends Dark Kingdom and Heavenly Sword. These were both uh, earlier launch titles. I, Untold Kingdom was, sorry, Untold Legends was a launch title, I believe. And Heavenly Sword came out within the first year. Both of these came out before trophy support, trophy support was officially added to the console. Some games did have um, trophy support added after the fact. Uh, a big example of that was Uncharted. The first Uncharted came out before trophy support. I remember playing it before trophies were added, but through an update, they added trophy support. So you could go back, you could load your save file up, and anything that you would have done popped the trophies for it, and you could go and get that platinum trophy. So these are a couple of those examples. This is the most uncommon, I would say, because after the first couple of years, Sony made, you know, they added the trophies so people could add them with their games. And then 
somewhere around year two, they made it mandatory that any any game had a trophy list, um, and that I think games that got physical releases had to have a platinum. I don't know. Once again, I'm not positive. I, that sounds familiar in my head, but so yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, obviously, there's some of these games are still fun, uh, especially if you haven't played Heavenly Sword. Heavenly Sword is fantastic. It was like kind of in that God of War style hack and slash, but really good game. Uh, was way ahead of itself for the time. Uh, I know Andy Circus did the motion capture for some of the main bad guy, and just in case for a refresher, Andy Circus is, was Gollum in Lord of the Rings, um, Snoke in you know uh, Last Jedi and Force Awakens. But anyway, so pretty big name, um, and it was a really good game, not too long, but yeah, no trophy support in that, which is too bad because it is a good game, but you know doesn't take away from the fact that it's still fun to play. But for trophy hunters, it's just a bit of a disappointment. Then, on the PS3 and the Vita era, and even some on the PS4, um, I couldn't f think of an example that I had physically to show, but um, there, are the there are the games that have a Platinum Trophy that came out with a full trophy list, but the online features have been shut down, and now you can no longer get them. Uh, a good example of that would be Twisted Metal. We just talked about this on the uh, last episode of the podcast. Um, the online servers are off, so you can't go back and get the Platinum Trophy. You can get every other trophy that has nothing to do with online, which is disappointing because, you know, as a Twisted Metal fan, this is the last Twisted Metal game we got. So those of us who like to hunt trophies, so I guess what I like, I like to get trophies for any game that I can, but like for series that I really like, um, so like the Uncharted games, I've gone through and gotten Platinum Trophies on all, at least all the PS4 ones. Um, you know, when I play a Dragon Ball Z game, I like to try to get the trophies on that. Star Wars really this stuff because I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. Um, so yeah, like for those of us that when we really like a series, we want to get all the trophies in it. It sucks if we didn't do that before. But it has, I mean, I guess for those that have the platinum trophy, it's even more elusive now, and you can say, Yeah, I got the platinum trophy for Twisted Metal before the server shut down. But at least not all is lost on the PS3. There are plenty of games that uh, don't have online trophies that you know had a, had trophy lists when they came out. Um, and like one for me that I've still never played is the Journey Collection. So I've never played Journey. I've only ever heard good things. I want to go through it and play that and Flower and Flow. Um, I've heard they're all fantastic games. Um, but yeah, you can still get the Platinum Trophy. And then on other games too, like Final Fantasy 13 or 3D.GameHeroes, they still have their trophies un unaffected because they didn't have any online trophies. But like I said, where I am coming from sometimes with this is that is the worry that at some point, what if they shut down their servers and there's no way to upload tro trophy data anymore? I'm still a physical collector because I want to be able to play the games even, you know, once the apocalypse happens or whatever. And we can't, you know, for some reason, we still have electricity and can play games, but can't go online um, in this weird, f this fictional apocalypse I just created. Um, but we still have... You know, we can still play the games, but, you know, you just, maybe you can even, you can still pop trophies, I assume, but you just can't upload them to an actual server anymore. Um, and the Vita has the same issue. So you have games like uh, Tales of Heart and Putty Squad, which I just recently finished and got the Platinum Trophy for, that are unaffected because there's no online trophies on those games. Nothing to, nothing to hinder your trophy run. Um, but then you have other games, which this this game specifically has a shared trophy list with uh, PS the PS3 version, but PlayStation All-Stars. A um, bunch of online trophies you can't get anymore, so Platinum is completely unachievable. Smart as, this is a bad example because nobody actually wants to play this game, I'm sure, but it was like, I think Sony's attempt at Brain Age. I haven't actually played it, maybe it's good, but you would upload like your scores and stuff to a leaderboard to, on how you did to, to prove that you're one of the smartest people in the world. Um, but they shut those leaderboards down years ago, well before the Vita was even officially dead. So you can't get the Platinum on that. And then another game I recently played um, that you can't get the Platinum on, Little Deviants. And this one's unfortunate because it's basically a completely solo player game. I, I don't think there's any multiplayer content. But because there's leaderboards that you need to upload some kind of uh, I don't know, high score or something to... Uh, to unlock a trophy, it makes the trophy list for this game uncompletable, so you cannot get the Platinum Trophy. Which is disappointing, because this game... I will say this about this game, I always heard it was kind of meh. And I actually thought it did a good job of showing off the, the Vita's um, 
different functionality, you know, the, all the touch screens and the, the cameras and everything. Um, kind of like what Nintendo used to doing, like, like Wii Sports was for the Wii. This was for the, the Vita. And it was a better game than people give it credit for, I think. But nonetheless, disappointing, you can't earn the Platinum Trophy. And there's plenty of these games across PS3 and the Vita that if you're a trophy hunter and you're buying games just to complete trophy lists, you want to look out for. Because I know games like Killzone, um, both, heck, Killzone on, I think, the PS3, Vita, and the PS4 version all have had their online servers shut down. Um, so, making therefore, making their platinum trophies in, uh, inaccessible. Another example was the more recent Mirror's Edge game, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. EA just went through and shut down servers for a bunch of games, and that was one of them. A mostly single-player game that had a couple of online trophies for leaderboards or something like that, that now made the Platinum Trophy uh, unaccessible. But then there's another example of a game like Jump Force. Now, this game is not great. I, I love the Shonen Jump animes. Um, you know, I like Naruto, love Dragon Ball. I'm watch in the process of watching One Piece right now, and I'm enjoying it. And plenty of others in this game represented that I like. Uh, but the game itself is not great. I did not love it. But they shut down the servers for this game about a year ago, maybe two. It's been a while. And with that, people assumed that all the online trophies were going to be impossible to get. Because that's common. That's what happens when you shut down the online servers. But Bandai Namco actually put in the back work to make those trophies available offline. You just have to play multiplayer matches or something like local multiplayer. So... There are examples of developers, publishers caring enough about that community of gamer to uh, make the Platinum Trophies uh, achievable even after they shut down um, online support and probably stop supporting the game totally. But yeah, so it's just a topic I've been thinking about. Uh, it's kind of my goal over the next year plus to start working through my PS3 backlog and my Vita backlog. Um, and earning platinum trophies on games that I want to, at least, to uh, just try to clean up trophy lists. Like, some examples, like, I'd love to get the platinum trophy on the three Uncharted games on PS3. I have them on PS4, um, the first three Uncharted games. But on PS3, I didn't get any of them. And unfortunately, Uncharted 2 and 3 had multiplayer trophies. So uh, I never got... I think I had a couple of the multiplayer trophies on both of them, but I didn't get all of them. So I'm SOL there. But Uncharted 1 didn't have multiplayer, so I can go back and clean that trophy list up. Um, other games, popular games from the PS3 era, like The Last of Us, had online trophies, unfortunately. So if you didn't get those, you can't get the Platinum. Um, but there are plenty of games that I've never played, that I've never finished, or that I finished and never popped that Platinum on, um, that I want to go back to and start cleaning that up. So... Anyway, just a topic, uh, something I was thinking about um, since the recording of our podcast last week and something I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on. So if there's anything you want to add to this conversation, uh, feel free to shout out in the comments. Um, let us know. If you have a favorite Platinum Trophy that you've earned that you just want to talk about or just talk about different you know, games that you want to play, join the comments, join the Discord. We'll talk about it there. Uh, we always like to keep the conversation going. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, if you haven't done so, make sure to check out uh, the last episode of the podcast, like I said, especially this last one. If you're a trophy fan, we really talk a lot about trophy hunting and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, one X button gaming on anywhere you listen to podcasts. So thank you for listening. Um, please like the video if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to always press X to continue.